Hey there, welcome back to the shop. I have a pretty interesting video to show you today. I'm doing some uh, semi-finished honing on these uh, pre-production barrel kits here. These are the GNB underbore barrel kit. I guess you could call them revision two. Uh, this, this right here is one of the original ones with the back and the front, a 14 inch front. And then I've got the new backs over here and then a whole bunch of fronts. So you got 16 inch fronts, 14 inch fronts, and then some little stubby uh, 12 inchers. So what I'm gonna be doing is honing them out on the machine, uh, not the finish hone, but the semi-finish hone. And then we'll be sending them out to get finish honed and then they'll be back and they'll be nice. Uh, but I like to take this time to show some of the differences that I've done with these. Uh, the right here, this is one of the uh, original GNB kits. Uh, the back is basically a tube with some contouring and then it has these little uh, small ball roundings there in the side and then it's engraved. The fronts also have the same ball roundings and then all the ports. The new kits uh, are quite a bit different. They, they get a good one here. This shape is a lot more curved and you can see I added a whole lot more uh, ball cuts to the outside. I just think it looks nicer this way. It's more, uh, more dramatic. It breaks up the tube shape. And obviously the other difference is that it's auto cocker thread on both sides so theoretically you could reverse it one way or another. No real purpose for that. It's just something cool I thought I'd throw in there. Uh, the fronts are also a little different. This is a 14 inch front. What it has is a uh, three separate rows of eighth inch ports. These are these big ones. And then in the front of it, we've got smaller ones. I think these are like 90 thousandths of an inch, 0.09 or something like that. Um, much smaller. Uh, the reason they're so big is because it's just easier to trap uh, paint splatter. Paint splatter gets out of a big port a lot better than it gets out of a smaller port. And there at the front, these smaller holes have the ball rounding and again the purpose of that is to just trap paint. Uh, you might be saying to yourself why why didn't I just use these small ports and travel them all the way down the side? Uh, really the answer to that is that it would just look weird. You'd end up with something like this except going all the way down the entire length of the barrel and so instead of shooting through uh, a nice round barrel you end up shooting through something that's turned into almost a hexagon shape because of the way this stuff would break up the curve. I like this idea better, this is a lot better. And then as you can see, the other difference is I'm experimenting with different ports. Uh, or, or sorry, not ports, uh, teardrop shapes kind of. I cut, cut very small little teardrops there into the front. Uh, some of them, not all of them, some of them just tr traditional ported. Some of them have the teardrops. So we'll see what happens, I don't know what will happen. If the devils will actually make it into production, but it's a cool idea I thought. Uh, again, here's the 12 inch ones, short, again with the same porting. Uh, 14 and 16. We'll show you what I'm doing here. And this is the uh, fantastic honing station that I've set up here by clamping a uh, collet holder to the table and sticking a barrel on it. Um, basically all I'm doing is just shoving that hone straight down there. I'll show you how it works. Alright, here we go. All right, that's all there is to it. Uh, this now has a fully deburred internal structure. All those ports used to look uh, like this. If you look through there, look at all those holes. There's burrs all over the place, and so now that cleaned them up. Everything's cool. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, why am I not doing this on a lathe? Even in the situation where I had the barrels in a lathe when I made them, but then transferred me over into the mill and hooked up this stupid system here. Really the, the answer to that is that the lathe that made these uh, parts is much older and slower than this machine. Uh, and with these flex ohms, 
you you want to be able to uh, kind of corkscrew them down through whatever part you're making and if I'm running this at a thousand RPM uh, in order to get the correct feed rate I'd have to be going at least half an inch per revolution um, or more you know depending on the finish you're looking at I think right now I'm driving it at uh, 600 inches per minute so that's 0.6 inches per revolution and that gets you a better pattern the lathe I have won't do that but this machine will and then the other reason why is because the coolant delivery on this machine is also a lot better I've got uh, like 125 psi coming directly out of the tool holder blasting down and then I've got externally through these hose, hose nozzles there's uh, an additional 30 psi uh, the lathe I have won't be able to deliver any of that so it's much better this way not exactly the best for production but I'm not producing these I'm just prototyping them so life is good okay so I'm gonna do another one here and uh, give you another view there we go it's all full of crap throw that on there screw it down and we'll run it again come on now, there we go I'm driving it about uh, 15 strokes here that's all it takes and then it'll be all nice and finished over and over So I'm going to finish all these and then do the finish honing on them and then we'll be shooting through them. Hope you liked the video. See you next time.